Alright guys, Mark Boy 316 with another video and it's gonna be the Finn Balor Iconic Matches review. Uh, just finished watching it, well, it's about an hour and 15 minutes and the first match was Finn Balor versus Neville from NXT Rival, it was a number one contender match. Uh, they both, it was a tournament final and the winner would get a shot at the NXT uh, Championship, great match. Some high flying spots, Neville hitting a, a great course guru moonsault from the middle rope. Uh, uh, Balor doing a, a tope over the top rope, uh, hitting the double stomp to the back of the head, and Neville still kicked out. Uh, Balor hits the Pele on, on uh, Neville, and as soon as he hits the Pele, he gets nailed with a super kick by Neville. And then Neville tries the red arrow off the top rope, tries to hit his finisher, and Balor gets the knees up. Rolls him up into a small package, almost gets a three count, but uh, Neville kicks out, and it ends with uh, the shotgun drop kick in the corner by Finn Balor, and then nails his finisher, the uh, coup de gras off the top rope. Great match, it was about an 11 minute match, and it was from NXT Rival, and uh, great, great match. Balor gets the win, of course, he is the demon in this match, so he wins that match. Next match we have on here is Finn Balor versus Tyler Breeze. Again, it's a number one contender match. And this was from NXT Unstoppable 2015. And it's uh, the winner would take on uh, Kevin Owens at Beast in the East. So, the, again, great match here. Uh, Breeze hits a super kick on on uh, Balor, almost gets the win. Hits his finisher, uh, the spinning heel kick, or the, the, what is it called? His finishing move, uh, oh. The supermodel kick, or whatever it's called, he, he did there. And uh, he, uh, Balor kicks out of his finisher. He exposed the turnbuckle and tried to nail. Uh, uh, Balor hits the exposed turnbuckle, and then Tyler Breeze hits his finisher, and Balor kicks out. He then hits the shotgun drop kick in the corner, nails the coup de gras again, and gets the win to get a shot at the NXT title at Beast in the East. And then the next match. Is that match from uh, Beast in the East 2015 against Kevin Owens from the Tokyo Dome? Uh, very, very good match. It's from the the great, great event that that was uh, Beast in the East. The whole that was a good event, the whole entire show. But that match was a great match, and uh, some a lot of great spots. He nails uh, Owens right off the bat. Just to get the early win, uh, Owens kicks out. Owens hits a great uh, rolling sent on off the top rope. Balor kicks out. Uh, Balor tries to hits the coup de gras first, and believe it or not, Kevin Owens kicked out of the coup de gras, so that was pretty cool. And then uh, Kevin Owens tried the cannonball in the corner, nails that. Balor kicks out, and then Balor hits another. Uh, Shotgun drop kick, nails uh, Owens in the corner, and then does another running drop kick into the corner, and there's the coup de gras for the second time, gets the win, and wins the NXT title. So great, great stuff, uh, great DVD. Favorite match was probably the one with Neville, and probably the one from Beast of the East. So the, those two matches were great. All three matches deserve to be on this DVD. Great DVD. Great. Uh, all three matches were great. Highly recommend this DVD. And this was my review of Finn Balor Most Iconic Matches. Great DVD. Deserves, you should pick it up if you don't have it. There are two at least two matches on here I haven't seen ever. Was the first uh, two matches, the number one contender matches. I've never seen them. And uh, I've seen the Beast in the East match though. But still, great matches. And uh, great DVD. So there's my DVD review of. Finn Balor, Iconic Matches. So, thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one.